I've been out fishing this morning and brought home a couple of smooth hounds. Starry smooth hound, Mustelus asterius. Okay, these are really good to eat. My favourite way of preparing them is to chop them up in little nuggets about all centimetre or so thick and toss them in seasoned self-raising flour and deep fry them. Lovely with a bit of sweet chilli. Now, I'm going to show you how to skin it. It's really easy, although people are always put off. And it's the same method that you would do for skinning dogfish. So, first things first. Start by cutting off the fins. So, first of all, we've got the dorsal fin. Take that off. Take off the second dorsal fin. Okay. Take off the anal fin. Take off Take off the pelvic fins. And then that just leaves the two pectoral fins. So we'll take those off as well. Just going to cut through. Now, the next thing you want to do is cut off the belly flaps. There's a line down here which is where you're going to cut. So we'll come in here just to get through that. There's a little bit of a like a bone, but it's actually cartilage. Okay, that's from the pelvic fins. So we're going to go along here nice and neatly. Basically, the reason for doing this is because otherwise your skin won't come off properly and it will tear. Okay, so we'll take that down there, turn it over the other side. You can probably see better when I do it this way. I'll go from this end this time. See this line here? That's where we're going. The cut along the dotted line, he says. We'll have a nice sharp knife for doing this. But take your time, go nice and slow, because we want a nice neat job at the end of it. Now, the next thing to do is ensure that you release the skin around where the joint with the fins are. Okay, because otherwise it's going to tear. When you pull it off. Okay, I'll right, carry on down there a little bit. Okay, so that's nice and loose. Okay, you can do the same again. Be careful you don't slip with the knife and cut yourself. Because that certainly would not do. There. Same on the top side. It's just a bit tougher around there, and obviously, you know, things things go by the weakest point or physics and all that. Okay. Make sure it's released. Okay. Around here. Okay, so now we're ready for the actual skinning. So, 
I've already cut down there because I've cut through the spine to kill the fish. Okay, so we're going to keep that meat up the top of the head. Okay, because I don't want to waste it. If I kill a fish, I want to use it. I don't want to waste it. I think the fish deserves more respect than to end up with a hatchet job. There we go. Now, next thing, we've got to release the skin here. So, we want at least a good centimetre of skin flap to pull. Okay. Again, just be careful. You don't want to slip and cut yourself. You do want to have a sharp knife. Just tease it under. So, there you go. So you can see that's that's released. I can hold on to that. Now, next thing, get your tea towel. You're going to hold here. Now, the head might come off because I've cut so far down, but don't worry about it. If it does, we'll deal with that. Pair of pliers, good heavy G pliers. Now, I normally use and recommend mole grips because they will stay clamped on. But they're sitting in my mate's car at the moment because we've been working on roof racks. So, just pull. Keep hold of the, the end of the fish, okay? As you move down to here, you can get a firmer grip without having to go on the head. And then just double over the skin, okay? So you can get on it nicely. And then we're gonna pull. You wanna do it nice and central so it comes off evenly all over. Now, because you've got that tear there, you want to go onto the fresh piece again, okay? There we go. I'll just do it from here. Right, there we go. Just pull. And that is my piece of smooth hound nicely skinned okay these belly flaps you can eat those as well okay nice and simple just cut down till you get to the skin carefully okay and then you're just going to do the same again you're going to grip it and you're going to pull All right so there's a nice bit there nice bit of fish there okay everyone's over here I'll do that later. Now, next thing I'm going to do is just trim it. Because we want everything to be nice and neat. Now, here on the fins, you've got the cartilage still there. Okay? So, we're just getting the last bits and pieces out of that. Just make it nice and neat and tiny. Okay? Same here. You'll feel where they are and hear where they are because they're just that bit rougher. Okay. There's a bit here on the petrol fin, so we're just going to cut behind that. It's like a little cartilage bone. There's another one here on the other side. Just tease your knife down until you've got it. All looking good. Take that bit off there. 